Hey there, I'm Anthony Gauna and welcome to my channel. So earlier this afternoon, I saw that there was an update to my Todoist app and I clicked update and then went into my inbox to start sorting out uh, what I was going to work on for today. And all that got thrown out the window because I saw this notification of the new deadlines feature that they're starting to slowly roll out. And I've been super excited about it, been wanting to try it out. And so I wound up spending a few hours uh, trying to research it, trying to learn about it, and wound up not really finding anything and just spent some time playing around with it. And so I wanted to make a video uh, just kind of sharing uh, what I've learned so far and just kind of give you my initial thoughts and uh, a few little things that uh, you should be aware of about it. So that's all it's going to be. Um, now, one thing to mention is, yes, I've only been playing around with this for like two hours or so. It's also in beta, so things might change eventually. So it's just a few things uh, to be aware of. Now, if you do want to try out the deadlines feature, you do need to be on a paid Todoist plan and you also need to be signed up for the experimental features. Uh, but as long as you're on a paid plan, it's super easy. You just go into your settings, you go to advanced, and then you just turn on experimental features. Now, I don't know how quickly the update gets pushed to you, so I don't know if it's an instant thing or you just need to wait around. I always notice when there's an update because there will usually be a like, a, I think it's an orange dot or something like that right next to your little avatar or profile. And uh, if you notice that, just click on that and down below towards the bottom, you should see something that says new version available or uh, restart to update, something like that. Uh, but once again, I don't know how quickly that gets pushed out and if there's a line or anything, but that's how to get signed up for the experimental features. Now, when you go to create a task, you should now see uh, like a new deadline thing as well as a date. If you don't see those, but you know you're on the new version, especially because you should see this uh, new deadlines thing right here, you're gonna click on the more action button, click on edit actions, and then you can add it into here. So for instance, um, say it wasn't there, just click plus and add it. And then you can also move it around wherever you want. Um, and that's how to get it added on there. Uh, if you don't like seeing the labels, you can turn those off and then you can just have the icons. Um, but I like the labels, so I keep them on. Okay, so let's uh, make an example task and I'll kind of like show you a few things. So um, I'm gonna do edit wedding photos for my client. Um, now you can still use the natural language uh, to type in. For this example that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go with it. Let's say that I need to deliver these wedding photos to my clients on, let's say December 13th. Now if you type December 13th, it sets the date for the start date. And so it doesn't do the deadline. So um, in order to set it by just typing, you need to use the curly brackets. So you just do curly bracket and then December 13th and then just close it. And then that will set the deadline date right here. And then say we want to start working on it on December 11th, that will start the, um, the start date. And uh, you can also, if you just want to click on here, um, you can do it that way as well. So if you just want to set it that way and type that way, whichever you know works best for you, um, you know, do it that way. So other than that, that's pretty much all I really kind of went into this knowing. There is a page on their uh, website for experimental features where they do have uh, somebody walking through uh, on a Loom video, um, as well as like a few additional things. Um, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> there wasn't too much else. They did talk about terminology, terminology change, which is uh, they changed due date, to just date. Um, I'll dive into that in a little bit. I've got something um, 
that confused me. But that's pretty much the um, the most that I know kind of going into. And so from there, I just kind of started playing around. <laughs> so one thing that I like to do is use uh, keyboard shortcuts. And so it's always been if you want to set the date, you just you know you know hover over like that or whatever, and you can do T and that will open the date view and then you can type out your date. I couldn't find any sort of keyboard shortcut to adjust the deadline date. I sat here and I literally went through every single key on my keyboard just trying to see if it did anything and I couldn't come across anything. Let me know in the comments if you have found something like that uh, because I would love to know. Uh, but other than that, all I know is that you have to go and edit the task and then go in here um, and either type it out within the curly brackets again or just you know click here and uh, adjust that way. So that's the most that I know um, as far as keyboard shortcuts go. Now the nice thing about this is, so say for instance we're in, I'm gonna change it to a calendar view and you can view it within your calendar, which is nice because it gives you a sense of awareness. So it doesn't create multiple instances of the task. It is literally just one task. And this additional thing right here is just there for awareness. So um, you can click here and that will open up the task of, you know, wherever it is in your system. So say for instance, we wanted to work on this for an hour um, on Wednesday the 11th, but we know we wanna work on it for an additional hour on December 12th. If you were to check this off, that means it's done, it's complete, deadline is out, like no longer here. So if you know you're gonna to wanna to work on it little by little, uh, just make sure that you reschedule it each time instead of checking it off because if you check it off It's you know removed from your system. It's listed as complete and all that So just one thing to be aware of. Okay, so here's where it gets tricky I'm someone who uses filters a lot and I've got a ton of different filters that I use um, all the time uh, I use filters because it helps me break down a uh, tasks or you know a set of tasks and into like small little chunks instead of seeing long lists uh, it just m helps me feel less overwhelmed i started going i was excited about the deadlines and i started going through and uh, these are things that i i need to do um, hopefully my family isn't watching this because these are christmas gift ideas but um i went through and i was like oh what happened here so I need to print these photos, but in order to do that, I need to download the photos. Um, and so I went in here, I clicked edit, did deadline, and then I was like, okay, I need to do this by the 9th. And I clicked save and it disappeared. And then I was like, okay, well maybe there is uh, a different terminology um, that I need to add into the filter because when I open this filter, I still want to see things that have a deadline, even though I don't have a start date on them. So in my head, uh, things that uh, have just a deadline don't have a date. <laughs> it's just a deadline date. But according to how it is right now, it has a date. The date is the deadline, even though there is no start date. So this filter that I have right here, is uh, it's show me all the tasks that are either overdue or today or have no date and have the label MIT. And I started going through and I was like, well, they, ch they said they changed the terminology on the page. I tried to figure things out. I tried to use the AI assist uh, filter creator that they have um, and nothing was uh, happening as far as like show me all the things that have a deadline and MIT so I started playing around and I figured out uh, kind of a workaround so in order to show the deadline tasks even though they don't have a start date they have a deadline 
I needed to create a separate section. And so if I do show me anything that does not have no date, so like a double negative, so the exclamation point is means not and then no date and MIT and do a, a, a comma, that will create a new section up at the top. And when we click save, it brings it in right here um, as showing the, the deadline task. Now it also brings in recurring tasks that I have in this filter. So if I wanted to, I can click edit and then do and not recurring. And that will remove anything that has uh, recurring. So essentially it could show, start showing me um, the deadline tasks up at top. Um, and so if I do this and go, okay, well, got that now, and then I need to place the order. Um, let's add a deadline and we'll make this the 19th or something and click save and it'll pull it up into the top. And then we can go into view and then sort by deadline and it'll sort it out by uh, the deadline uh, the soonest basically. So it's like, okay, well this is due in four days. I should probably work on that. And then from there I can be like, you know what? I'm gonna work on that today. And so now it has a start date and it's due in four days. So I can start on it today and finish it or I can just do a little bit and you know, know that um, I can put it off and be like, okay, well now I'm gonna do that tomorrow and it'll update that way. Um, so that was one thing that I found a little confusing at first um, was the fact that I added a deadline, but in Todoist, it, in the system itself, it's like a deadline is still a date. Um, and so just something to be aware of if you're some, somebody who's like me that uses a lot of filters, uh, because if you want some sort of awareness like that, it, it won't show up in your filters, basically. Another thing that I'm kind of thinking of that I might play around with is creating much simpler filters and then using the, the filter and sorting and grouping options within here and kind of going about it that way. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I need to play around with it some more and kind of see what works at this current point. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the deadline feature. That's the most that I know. Like I said, uh, the the page they have doesn't really show very much and I kind of just had to play around with things myself. Hopefully uh, things kind of get figured out and situated. It is still in beta. Um, so I'm sure things will change at some point. Um, and I'm also going to sit down and write some things out and submit some feedback. Yeah, so if you go and like when you're editing and uh, adding a deadline, down below you'll see deadline feedback and click on that and uh, submit your feedback. So um, if you are using the deadlines feature and do wanna like be like, hey, I'm confused about this or can you change this? Uh, you can submit feedback that way. So that's the deadlines feature. Uh, the most that I know, I'm not sure of how I'm going to be utilizing this just yet or if I'm even going to because I know that I'm going to have to go in and adjust all my filters. But the fact of like being able to visually see like when things are due and, and all that, I, I could see the value in that, especially uh, with me having ADHD and no concept of time, uh, I could see the definite value in it. It's just, this is so brand new right now that it's kind of hard for me to wrap my head around at this current point. And especially if things might change later on as well, um, who knows? Uh, but I'm curious, uh, what do you think about the deadlines feature? Are you gonna be using it? Um, if you are using it right now, what do you think about it? Um, if you found any certain ways uh, to use the deadline feature, um, I'm also curious to know about that um, as well. Um, I think this is something that we're all gonna be kind of like slowly figuring out uh, together. I'm interested to see how everyone's gonna be uh, utilizing it, so. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, um, I do like to make videos on Todoist um, as well as like other little things that I find uh, helpful to myself as a self-employed photographer. And so I just wanna make helpful videos kind of like this, productivity related uh, for all sorts of creatives. And so if that's something you're interested in, uh, be sure to subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but 
other than that, uh, thank y'all so much for being here and for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, y'all. Bye.